cancers, my cancers. What's your water, babies? Honey, what's popping? Did you miss me? Hmm. Hmm. Because I miss your motherfucking ass. Listen, cancers, are we realigning with our motherfucking divinity? Are we motherfucking mastering motherfucking emotional intelligence? <laughs> Listen, hey boo, hey, if this first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this first time to my channel, look out, I cuss, okay? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depend on what the fuck this lick read, all right? But matters not, I'm a cuss. It's my shit, all right? So if this cussing does not work for you, please feel free right down now, okay, to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that shit, all right? Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations, the reading requests, all that. Thank you, Cancer, from the most humblest space ever, okay? Um, uh, oh, also, if you're new to the family, <laughs> hey, but welcome to the family, y'all. <laughs> We're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss, however. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? But we do love, we share, we grow, we enlighten, we evolve, we cuss, okay? Positive vibes only, positive type things, all right? We family, all right? This, re this message ain't gonna resonate with every goddamn cancer, y'all. Take what does, leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, your ass gonna fall. And that's on period, okay? Um, also, if you need a personal reading, that information will be found in the description. Please feel free if you're not following me on Instagram already. That's kind of where I get a little bit more personable. I, you know, we, we, we share as family, but there's also weekly tea over there. I gotta get back on it because I've been in this space of really trying to transition and really make sure like I, I'm, I'm really trying to structure and also kind of like reevaluate my flow of things and honestly kind of like decide what the hell I want to do what on do I want to talk about love on YouTube or do I want to talk about love on Instagram so I'm really trying to like really restructure that because when I thought I had it bitch I then I found out I didn't here we go again you get what I'm saying so for some of y'all that could be resonant bitch I thought I had it I thought thought we was making some make, making some goddamn progress here and bitch listen we we back in fucking square one with the shits okay so uh, that's a good thing though when it comes to like reassessment okay reassessment of boundaries the reassessment of your foundation really asking yourself where can I grow how can I grow can I grow here the fuck you get what I'm saying so cancer listen um, right now I do have some specials going on or if you can also get an emergency reading but again you can find that on that damn Instagram at mocha underscore love underscore tarot get your ass over there it's weekly tea over there girl plus I'll be sharing my little my, I let my Aries come out on my Instagram <laughs> so without further ado y'all let's just go ahead and get right into the reading I don't want this to be too long plus I got to use it cancer okay so let's get into it cancer listen the message that I kept getting for you all 1111 could be of significance a lot of you all may be seeing 11 11 10 10 a whole lot i'm also seeing the synchronicity of 222 as well okay some of you guys could also be dealing with a capricorn a sagittarius an aries leo a virgo or an aquarius okay i'm also hearing scorpio for some of you all or pisces all right another water sign like yourself but i am picking up on a lot of like manipulation or this gaslighting ass energy where someone's making you feel two things two groups of cancers some of y'all are dealing with a situation where someone's making you feel guilty about wanting to grow about you desiring more and wanting more out of your life you want to be fulfillment i mean you want to be fulfilled someone's making you feel guilty about your desires around fulfillment for some of you all and some y'all you got somebody that you're dealing with that's making you kind of question how you feel about certain things it's like this person makes you feel or they they project the fact that you're childish for feeling a certain way or responding or reacting a certain way i'm hearing disrespect will be be will not be motherfucking taken lightly around this bitch okay so for some of you all you're acknowledging something disrespectful and because you're dealing with a motherfucker who lacks accountability it will it's easier for this person to blame you okay cancer if you're this person this is how someone feels towards you okay for some of you all i am hearing someone's done being another person's emotional and mental motherfucking punching bag someone only comes around when they need something or someone's only fucking coming around and it's like it's like you can give somebody your motherfucking last tooth and they'll use it to smile at another bitch you get what i'm saying like there is this energy of no longer being someone's comfort zone and you're choosing to take yourself out of some type of chaotic cycle where you weren't being where you weren't being reciprocated with when it comes to love okay 
a lot of focus around career stability security okay some of y'all could have capricorn or sagittarius in your chart please feel free to go watch them if you do have that in your chart okay some of you all may also have an aries venus specifically i'm picking up on something having to do with like you you recognizing some type of cycle as it pertains to like love partnerships some of you all you're discovering like you want to focus on your money and you're stepping away from love because you feel as if every time you get in some type of cycle or a love relationship it actually has a negative effect on your motherfucking finances and cancer i'm hearing that you can have both ultimately it's about your own goddamn person your ability to like really focus on your motherfucking focus and push the fuck through people are only distractions and disturbances if you allow them to be people do what the fuck you give them access to do in your life okay i'm hearing self-discovery self-mastery the mastering of gifts okay i am hearing something having to do with psychic awareness or you're tapping into your psyche or someone else is trying attempting to tap into your psyche and it's causing them some type of like health issue okay some of you all i'm literally hearing witch doctors okay so some of y'all could be dealing with a witch doctor this is someone who wants to remain in the dark because as soon as i start talking about that shit my whole fucking light went off i'm just gonna go with it okay i am hearing something having to do with what's done in the dark okay what's done in the dark coming to the light or what's done in the dark being illuminated i am hearing something i heard okay so i heard i heard um it's morning and we slept the night away it happened now we can turn back the hands of time oh no no okay so i don't know the rights to that song all right but i know kelly price redid it but i don't know exactly who sings it originally but i do know kelly price redid it okay um but it's as we lay is the song call i am picking up on something having to do with temptation temptress or being tempted by something or someone being completely fucking seduced by someone who's married okay i feel like something was supposed to be a one-time thing and it actually being like a continuous thing and now somebody's dealing with some fatal attraction shit i am hearing something having to do with fire sign so Somebody could have got caught up in the midst of a fucking fire sign and an air signs drama, okay? Or an air sign and a fire signs drama. I am picking up on this sense of detachment or, again, emotional intelligence. Using your emotions to transmute and create, okay? I'm also picking up on something having to do with spiritualists. So some of you guys could be tarot readers. Some of you guys could literally be spiritualists. Or you're trying to uh, really sharpen your craft as it pertains to your intuition. And you're learning how to trust yourself. I am hearing cancer follow your first mind. No matter how bizarre it fucking sounds, your first mind never fucking led you wrong. For some of you all, this is your guides also some of y'all feel as if you have a disconnection to your ancestors or a disconnection to your spirit guides. And it's like, they're like, they're sending you signs and symbolisms. Okay, I'm hearing signs and symbolism. So symbolism, I'm hearing sacred geometry. Also something having to do with like esoteric wisdom. Some of you all, I'm hearing decoding. So this could be like a decoding program or you literally, um, de something regarding decrypted messages, something only you understand or some type of form of communication from your spirit guys i'm strongly hearing symbolism some of y'all the evil eye pendant is important i'm hearing pendants and amulets okay pendants amulets talismans this could be a form of protection some of you all could be really digging very um digging very deep when it comes to various forms of protecting yourself but the focus is really about security security stability also attraction really like really assessing like in what area do you like really go so motherfucking hard it's like it feels like you go hard you go hard you go hard you go hard and shit's not moving as fast as you would like it to for some of you all you have to change your formula some of y'all having to switch up the motherfucking formula some of you guys can literally be paying close attention to something I'm also hearing like some of y'all may also have a slight obsession over a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you could be connecting with the water sign. Somebody's watching you watch another person, Cancer, okay? Or this could be you watching somebody else watch another person. There's a lot of focus around someone having a hard time being in the present due to fears of the past, okay? This could have to do with new love and a new relationship and partnership. Bitch, you side eye everybody. You hear what I'm saying? But it's cheating you out the ultimate. It's cheating you out of the, out of the actual experience, Cancer because of course you know experience breeds wisdom so it's kind of like some of you all you're dealing with someone who was actually sent, sent into your life to be a spirit guide to assist you with getting to the next level and for some of you all because you've been with an abusive with, with an abusive projected motherfucker you're not open to criticism when it comes to like advice regarding business or you're not open to receiving help and i am hearing someone must sit into your life to help you cancer okay 
I'm also picking up on a lot of planning and a lot of strategizing as we move into the next year, 2022. A lot of you all are wanting to start some type of business. I am here in January. February is going to be significant to that. I'm also hearing something, some seeds that were planted in August of 2021 is going to be significant. I'm strongly hearing something significant to a weed farm, okay? We form or some type of product that's actually like some type of product that has CBD or THC in it. I'm hearing something having to do with like insomnia tea, anxiety tea. Some of y'all are receiving a lot of like downloads when it comes to sleeping, okay, uh, while you're sleeping. I'm also hearing you're healing while you're sleeping, DNA encoding, okay. I'm also hearing some of you guys, some of you guys could be channeling like someone who's crossed over. I'm hearing... I see dead people. And it was a whisper like, I see dead people. So for some of you all, this is something that you're keeping to yourself or you want to remain secret. Some of you all are afraid of judgment or being seen in a negative light as it pertains to your spiritual gifts. But you want to come out and share them. You are a light worker. I'm also, hey, 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 how you doing? Hey, puppy. You got your sweat on and you and you and you acting like that. You can't be acting like that with a damn trailblazer on. Pup. Pup, look at that dog. Oh, pup. Look at that little bitty dog. Such a big growl for a little bitty dog. I know. But you gotta cut it out because mama is recording and as spoiled as you is, you ask for everything. Puppy. Some of y'all could have a Sagittarius in your life causing motherfucking disturbances, okay? Or a Sagittarius coming to abruptly try to cause some type of chaos in your fucking life because you moved the fuck on, all right? I'm also hearing something having to do with fatal attraction. Whew. Relax. I'm picking up on, listen to what they're saying, Cancer. Listen, what is it? I'm, I'm hearing like, I heard pay attention to the things in which they don't say. I feel like some of y'all is dealing with somebody who talks around how they feel, who talks around circumstances, and it doesn't bring you any clarity and comfort within self as far as knowing what the fucking relationship is going. Some of y'all dealing with a motherfucking Don Juan, a Don Juana, okay? Male or female, take it as it resonates, okay? I'm also picking up on... Um, Cancer, some of you guys also are accepting the fact or there's a need for you to accept the fact that something's over or something's not able, you're not able to progress forward until you actually like sacrifice something else. So for some of y'all, this literally could have to do with the career because I am hearing something having to do with like career transition. Some of y'all could strongly have Capricorn in your chart because that came out in their message, okay? But again, there's a need to trust your inner guidance, trust your inner voice, and be able to discern the difference. I'm also hearing dream interpretation could be significant. Some of you guys could be looking into, some of y'all are dream interpreters, okay? But I am hearing something having to do with the interpretation of your dream, like for you to understand and decode what you're actually seeing, okay? Because some of y'all is having a situ having dreams. I'm also hearing somebody trying to manipulate something or like stir up some type of like, um, I'm hearing psychological warfare within the realms. Like someone wants to confuse you or you're doing this to another person, Cancer, because I'm hearing not all y'all hands is clean. But someone wants to confuse you through your dream space. Like someone wants you to see a particular person a certain way or you want someone to see a particular person a certain way so that you may like be in your motherfucking head and you won't fully give this person a chance and open up and self-sabotage something that was actually meant to be divine, okay? But some of you all also are kind of... Is I'm hearing like one foot in, one foot out. Either you're doing this or so you feel like someone's doing this to you. But if there's something having to do with home, foundation, maybe the foundation is rocky. Some of you all could also be getting the foundation of your home realigned. I'm also hearing something having to do with um, feng shui, bringing prosperity into your home. Some of you all may find it very beneficial if you actually burn, um, if you were to like burn cinnamon sticks or if you were actually to like boil cinnamon and bay leaves, okay? I'm seeing a lot of something burning, okay? So this could be fire magic, divination, candle magic, okay? Whatever it is that you put out into the universe, I am hearing something having to do with 10 days, 10 to 21 days, something actually turning over in your favor, okay? Some of you all could also be like really worried about how 2022 is going to manifest as it pertains to a particular a particular relationship. Cancer, some of y'all feel as if somebody's not all the way in like they fucking said that they is, okay? 
Also, I am hearing something falling in your damn lap or something falling directly in your lap via social media, okay? Some of y'all is connecting the dots when it comes to who was all involved in some fuckery because somebody left you with this motherfucking... Yeah, some of y'all definitely left... Somebody could have left you without any clarity of why the fuck they fucking ghosted or why the fuck they disappeared. Some of y'all, this actually happened because somebody was chasing somebody with some more money and it's kind of left... Some of y'all are feeling like very regretful. You're feeling a bit disappointed based on someone else's decision making or the choice in which they made. But Spirit is saying it was divine intervention. It's like Spirit got something that was not supposed, that was not aligned with your frequency to fuck out your way so that something new could come in, okay? I'm also hearing something regarding a sugar daddy. Some of y'all are inheriting a sugar daddy or a sugar mama. I'm hearing stepping stone someone's a stepping stone to get you to the next level or assist you when it comes to some type of money towards investing creating or starting something this could be someone who's married or in a relationship already some of you all could have cut it off with this person and not this motherfucker is driving past your motherfucking house i'm hearing fatal attraction okay some of you all also there's a caution for you not to tell someone like it's like you is you could be like a spirit guide to someone or like a you could be like, okay, like a mentor or a spirit guide to someone. I'm also hearing earth angels. Some of y'all are earth angels, Cancer, okay? I'm hearing energy healing, Reiki healing. I'm also hearing something having to do with like a vaginal cleanse, okay? Some of y'all could be looking for like um, a lot of focus around wound care, wound care or actually like the base chakra, the root chakra, or the sacral chakra, okay? Realignment of the chakras. I'm also hearing something having to do with like some type of clarity around children, Somebody could be questioning if like, oh shit, cancer, okay? Whew. Some of y'all spirit got somebody out of y'all life because of their fucking perversion. If you have a teenage daughter and you were dealing with another water sign, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Capricorn towards Virgo, if you intuitively felt that someone could have been looking at your child in a sexual way, especially if your child is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, some of you all are going to discover like someone's perversion or their pedophile, their pedophilia ass ways, bitch. Whoo. They're saying, dude, this is not a time to like not trust your intuition or deny what you feel, okay? I'm also hearing some of y'all may find some disturbing shit. I'm hearing something having to do with like porn. Like either somebody has a porn addiction or this is you with a porn addiction cancer. But I'm hearing someone accumulating succubus spirits. All right. Someone's also going through something when it comes to their sexual health. If if like if, if, if the alignment with somebody never fucking comes together, understand this. It's working out for the greater good of you, cancer. Some of you all also, I am picking up this energy where someone could be like, some, some of y'all could be being overly critical because I am picking up on some type of like fluctuation when it comes to like the weight. Okay, something about the weight. So this could be you or your partner. Like somebody's feeling, um, somebody's like losing attraction for somebody due to like a massive amount of weight gain. I feel like you want to be supportive. It's like if you try to support this person or be supportive to this person, but it's like this person is ignoring like your desires or ignoring like what the fuck makes you happy or what pleases you so it's kind of like for some of you all you're being really like you're being asked the question like is this truly for you is something truly for you it's not an alignment with your desires or what fulfills you okay i'm also hearing something having to do cancers if you have a car or a vehicle because i'm literally seeing a truck so this could be some for someone who has like a suv okay i'm seeing something with a hatchback um, I'm seeing some of y'all need to check around that hatchback area. Somebody put some type of tracking device on your car. I'm hearing to set you. Whoa. Somebody trying to set somebody up. I'm hearing stick up kid. I'm a stick up kid. That's how I live. I ain't with it. I be robbing these niggas. I'm a stick up kid. Somebody's a stick up kid. I am hearing something going to some something's going to backfire tremendously. Ooh, cancer, you are so protected. I got chills when I tell you that. You are so protected. I'm also picking up on be very careful about who the hell you let in your house. It's like somebody could also be taking something from your home or something's coming up missing out of your bedroom. I am hearing okay. I'm strongly hearing Virgo, Leo, Pisces with that. I'm also hearing some of y'all could also be like mending the fences as it pertains to family. I'm hearing um, 
Who cancel my ear just start like ringing, but like a burn to it. Like somebody could be talking shit. Some of y'all are clairaudient. Like you're tapping into other people's like communications and like phone. I'm also hearing something about the phone. The phone is tap. The phone tap wire extortion. Someone be very careful about who house you go to cancer. I'm also hearing don't sit in a weed man's house. Something about somebody. Somebody could be watching your weed man. Okay, don't sit in a weed man's house. I heard don't eat the soup, don't eat the chili. Chili, chili could be significant. Someone could be cooking, cooking chili for New Year's. Don't eat the chili. Hypnosis, hypnosis, psychosis, mental manipulation. All right, give me some, give me a, a message for cancer. Okay, you guys got clear quartz. Let yourself feel all of your emotions. Hold on, I got to cut this damn light on because y'all got to be able to see this. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance, okay? Again, emotional intelligence. Also, separating your energy, knowing the difference between someone else's energy and your energy, okay? I, I picked up on a lot of, again, a lot of like psychological and emotional warfare like projection some of y'all really need to get some type of like amulet evil eye pendant something having to do with evil eye especially if you work in the public eye or you do something musically okay you could be an artist artistry could be significant creativity okay some of you guys could also customize clothing as well i'm also picking up on something significant to a guarding or literally connecting with mother earth okay some of you guys are receiving a lot of like um symbolism signals okay frequencies or you're being um Okay, so you're being uh, ascended within, okay, ascend, ascending within your own frequency. Again, light body activations, 999 frequency. Archangel Metatron could be significant. Archangel Uriel, okay. Prophecy, psychic awareness. Some of you guys are discovering something about your family as well, genetics, okay. Some of you all are also recognizing some type of cycle around like abandonment and addictions as it pertains to... Um, I'm hearing the masculine energy. So this could be like your father's side of the family. Also an opportunity to forgive a father figure or someone who you have children with. All right. Or this person could literally be like keeping you stagnant or keeping things stagnant for you. Someone's karmic to your money. So anything that's being like dismantled, literally dismantled. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra because I, I I remember um, naming Libra dismantled. Whatever's being dismantled, allow it to fall the fuck away. Just surrender to the divine because some of you all are obsessed over some type of outcome that you're expecting for a situation that was supposed to only be a reasons and seasons in your motherfucking life. Okay? Yes. You guys got passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on meaningful projects that is dear to your heart immediately i heard communication advocacy speaking okay speaking up about something i'm also hearing something having to do with mental illness mental uh men, okay awareness around mental illness as well as domestic domestic mental physical emotional abuse gaslighting some of you guys could also be teaching about uh personality disorders i'm also speaking about traumas within like the minority household as well some of y'all could have podcasts vlogs some of you all also could be transitioning into the beauty industry as well but there's something having to do with like lackluster confidence or like you being overly self-critical on yourself due to some type of influctuation with your weight I'm also hearing somebody, okay, some of y'all could be dealing with somebody. You could have just recently had a baby. Congratulations, baby. Mocha love the kids, okay? But some of you all feel as if your partner or your spouse or the person who you have a child with is not being as supportive. And I feel like it's really doing a number on your fucking mental health. Some of y'all need to like, I'm hearing something about like post postpartum, post postpartum stress, postpartum syndrome, syndrome. Syn I'm also hearing something having to do with autism. Some of you guys could have an autistic uh, autistic child. I'm also hearing something having to do with like decoding, again, sign language. Some of you guys could actually be uh, going to school for some type of sign language as well. <clears throat> a lot of focus around security, furthering education, okay? Also, making a decision and making sure that decision is in line with you and not what it is that other people expect out of you, Okay. Some of y'all also could be starting a channel, okay? A tarot channel as well. Some of you all could actually read like coffee or you could read flames. 
Maybe you want to teach about divination, teach about crystals, teach about um, herbs, okay? Herbologists. Some of you all could also be teaching people how to recognize like when some, when other people are like um, sending you, sending you energy, all right? Again, emotional intelligence, transmuting that energy that was supposed to actually be to your detriment into something that you benefit from, all right? And I am hearing that if something, if you tried something in 2021 and it didn't work, it will be a great time for you to actually like get back to that in the spring. All right, so let's get into it. I'm going to pull a few cards for y'all, Cancer, because we already been here for 25 fucking minutes. Whew, time goes fast. Cancer, man, some of you guys could be confused about how to move forward or how things is, how things are going to progress going forward, possibly with another water sign like yourself, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or an air sign, okay? Some of you guys also could be looking back or something, okay, something that possibly a Scorpio could have done in the past is actually coming to the surface. I'm also hearing something having to do with like someone, someone's afraid to come out of the damn closet. For some of you all, this could literally be your children or a child, an adult child. Or maybe you're the motherfucking adult child. <laughs> I'm hearing something having to do with bondage, BDSM, okay? Cancer, somebody's into some freaky shit, and I feel like they want to display that, but there's, again, fear of judgment. I am hearing some of y'all got religious motherfucking family members and shit that's following you, so it's like you're afraid to show your true self, but bitch, they made a, a block, but listen, I will block Auntie Susan, bitch. Bitch, I, I, I will block cousin fucking Tina who work at the church. I will block that. That's your shit. The fuck? That show, this is the fucking truth. That show shit, all right? Some of you guys, there could be some type of clarity or truth coming in. I am hearing, again, some of you guys discovering something or uh, discovering something on social media or you're seeing someone actually like, if someone didn't give you like full truth or clarity, some of you all could actually be like, I'm hearing obsessing over someone's social media and it's like either someone speaking about something or you're literally seeing like a few between two people. And for some of y'all, this is somebody who they told you that they didn't fuck with no more. So some of y'all starting to see the motherfucking truth. Some of y'all going to get real, real good and clear about why somebody disappeared from a situation. Okay. I'm hearing gaslighting, narcissism. Co someone's a covert narcissist cancer. All right. This could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Someone's. Yeah. I'm also hearing game over to somebody's motherfucking manipulation. Some of y'all, you was dealing with a manipulative motherfucker and you pulled the plug on this bitch and it got somebody kind of running in the frenzy because you and this person or this person could have been depending on you financially or someone's like trying to manipulate you using finances, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, um, or an Aquarius, all right? Some of you all are choosing to lay a situation to rest or someone's laying a fucking situation to rest. Someone feels as if either you feel like this or someone feels like the other person is emotionally fucking manipulative. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces, okay? Some of y'all could be cutting a fucking Pisces the fuck off or some of y'all is cutting off, cutting somebody the fuck off after coming, in, coming into some type of awareness about something. I am hearing regarding sexuality. Some of y'all could literally find uh, somebody with pictures of the same sex in their phone, Okay? This could be someone who you're married to or have children with as well, but something is definitely the fuck over. And it's happening so that you can go on this little road to fucking self-discovery, self-mastery, and really get in tune with your fucking gifts. But this is actually happening happening as a lesson to trust yourself, okay? Some of you all, somebody could have somebody could have thought the green was uh, the grass. Uh, some of y'all was dealing with an air sign who could have moved on to a fire sign or another air sign. They thought the grass was green on the other motherfucking side. But I feel like they're going to get over there to discover that, bitch, they had fake-ass grass over there. You hear me? Cancer is like, bitch, I'm retiring my cape. dun da da, da da I think the fuck not, bitch. Uh, pull the plug. Pull the plug for 500 Alex on a bitch, all right? Some of you guys are really, really, really looking really good. Some of you guys could also be celebrating some type of... um. I'm hearing something having to do with body goals. So some of you guys could have actually reached your fucking body goal, reached the goal weight, okay? Some of you guys could also be... um fitness trainers or some of you guys could also work in the work in the field of like health and wellness some y'all could also be dealing with a motherfucking aries okay either you watching this aries or this aries is watching you i feel like some of you all are with a particular person that has an issue with like fully opening up and receiving love i feel like someone could still be healing over something that occurred in the past all right yeah 
But I tell you, bitch, I'm good. Four swords. Somebody could literally be healing over something that occurred in the past. All right. I'm also picking up on some of y'all got an air sign that don't know. This person feels the energy shifting up. It's like some of y'all is keeping something concealed or keeping something to yourself. Something that was going on in the background. You see this motherfucking monkey in the background? Some of y'all got somebody in the motherfucking background that knows what the fuck is going on, but they're keeping it to themselves and they're allowing themselves. So I'm hearing they're keeping it to themselves until they like grow enough money to like move away. Okay. I'm also hearing someone getting ghosted. Someone's going to get ghosted around the New Year's of cancer. You're ghosting someone. There's confusion around clarity. Yeah. Clarity. And this could be someone who you was helping financially, okay? Or maybe you feel as if, or someone feels as if you don't have enough to, like, give them financially as well, okay? I'm hearing, I got some real, listen, them fucking sirens, that old man. I like some really big things. Some mm, better be coming with no strings. Better be coming with Drake could be significant. Some of you guys could actually like be dealing with the Scorpio, okay? Or someone making you feel inadequate for what you don't have, all right? But there's a need for you to be grat for you to be grateful. Be look around. I'm hearing some some of y'all could be focused, being very overly self-critical about where you are on your path. And what didn't fucking grow. But look at what everything you have, baby. You have food, you have shelter, your kids is healthy. You are calling in. I'm, I'm hearing like you are you are what you attract cancer. Okay, so some of you all you're in this space of reassessing like bitch, you know, bitch, I can't hang around all these broke motherfuckers, bitch. I don't have motherfucking dreams of being broke. It's like you're in this space of manifesting very rapidly for some of you all. You could actually be like receiving some type of promotion again or some type of thrusting into your purpose. Okay, a lot of focus around purpose, the industry. Some of y'all could be actresses or right? <laughs> Someone could have also been holding you back because they know your purpose. Like someone's intentionally trying to be a motherfucking distraction or a disturbance in your fucking life because they feel casted out or left the fuck out. Someone's also someone someone's also offended because they don't know your business. Like you stop fucking opening up and telling people shit. And this person is like they can cancer. They can feel the energy. They can feel the shift. They can feel the disconnection is also is what I'm saying. Some of you guys also could have been dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, male. This man could actually have children. They could be a father, all right? Some of you all could also be feeling as if... Some of y'all feel as if you're not getting enough time or, like, the love that's being given is not motherfucking reciprocal due to somebody's fucking family situation. And it's just like, bitch, I'm over here. I'm out of here. Unplug, bitch. And you making the judgment to come out of this space of fucking confusion. And bitch, unplug. Bitch, unplug. Bitch, plug. let me cut your fucking power off and sit back in minds. Realigning with your fucking divinity. Cancer, do you know who the fuck you is? You magical as fuck. Do that motherfucker know? Some of y'all may have to reteach a motherfucker how to treat you. You may have to show your ass to get what you want, okay? For those of you who are married or connected with another person. Yeah. With this King of Cups... Some of you all, again, someone may feel as if like there's a lot of love there, but when it comes to finances, like finances may be the only struggle that you have in a particular relationship. Again, I do feel like someone loves you, but they feel inadequate or they feel as if they can't rely on you financially or this is how you feel and possibly towards an earth sign. And you motherfucking setting, your, you, you setting up your motherfucking boundaries. For some of you all, this is actually somebody cutting you the fuck off because they feel as if you weren't giving, but I feel like this is a motherfucker who expect, who expect the motherfucking world, but bitch ain't gonna give your ass a goddamn crumb because i feel like somebody's child's mother could also be significant okay some of y'all could also be receiving some type of help monetary help from an earth sign can uh, capricorn towards virgo all right some of y'all could also be finding out someone wants to speak the truth about i'm hearing i'm hearing hush money okay Somebody could have been cheating possibly on someone who could be in the public eye or someone who has some type of status. Like someone wants to keep, someone's paying somebody. This could be a baby mama or some shit. Okay. Whoever this is, this is somebody where it could have actually started off financial, but I feel like somebody's paying somebody to be quiet about possibly a pregnancy here. All right. Yeah. This is the fucking truth. Some of y'all also. Okay. Some of y'all also could be getting some type of truthful communication. I'm also hearing court documents, custody. I'm also hearing divorce settlement. So some type of divorce may be um, finally settled as we as we get into like the... Okay, I'm hearing the middle of January is going to be significant, okay? I'm also hearing someone's actually going to settle. Someone's trying to prolong a fucking breakup because they don't want to fucking pay child support as well. 
This person could literally, I'm hearing alimony, all right? So somebody playing some motherfucking petty warp, some petty ass games behind finances, all right? Yes. For some of y'all, this could definitely be someone who you have a toxic connection with, who you could also have a child with as well, all right? Some of y'all, this could also be a Capricorn individual in your motherfucking family as well, a mother, okay? I feel like someone's trying to keep you, again, somebody trying to keep you tied up in some shit that doesn't fucking serve you out of like, I'm again, someone using money, material value or money to like keep you stuck to a situation or keep you feeling obligated to give. I feel like something is really sucking you to fuck dry. Okay. I'm also hearing some type of contract. Some of you guys are negotiating or there's a need for you to negotiate some type of contract or some type of like work agreement with someone. Make sure that it's actually on paper and that you have like the, pro the proper documentation. Cover your ass cancer. All right. Yeah, y'all going from the queen of motherfucking pentacles to the motherfucking empress, all right? So I definitely pick up, pick up on this energy of entrepreneurship or I'm hearing seeds well planted. So some seeds that you planted in the past is actually coming. I'm also hearing investments paying off, okay? But something that you grew in the past is actually coming into fruition and it's growing very beautifully, which is allowing you to create multiple streams of income cancer after choosing to let something go. It's kind of like... Some of y'all are obsessing about not having enough or just like obsessing over, obsessing about. I'm also hearing something about being present with your children. Like either someone's telling you that you're not present with the kids or you're not emotionally. The only thing you focus on is money. Some of y'all is dealing with somebody who they're not present for a bunch of motherfucking shit. The only person, only thing that this person is focused on is money. And for some of you all, you may feel like a burden to this person or maybe this person makes you feel like a burden to them. Again, I'm hearing crystal clear communication coming about as we move forward okay <clears throat> or there's a need for you to communicate with this person about how they make you feel unapologetically bitch okay let's get it give me some advice for cancers advice for cancers yeah divine order some y'all could definitely be dealing with a fucking capricorn i feel like somebody loves you but i feel like as it pertains to spiritual growth and someone being supportive i feel like that's lacking in a particular dynamic and i feel like again it's not reciprocal okay some of y'all this could have to do with the marriage and someone's like deciding bitch let me bitch let me out i want to be free bitch let me let me be free okay or someone speaking that or someone could also be hiding a pregnancy or hiding someone that they're married but i feel like again things being laid out on the table crystal clear some of y'all are going to discover this on social media all right or someone about you divine order archangel ragayel everything is how it needs to be right now look past the illusion and see underlying order okay and a bitch i can't make this shit up some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a fucking capricorn okay some of y'all there could also be if you're a cancer man some of y'all could have a capricorn that's trying to take your ass to court okay Ultimately, someone's goal is to ruin some type of connection that you have. But I feel like that's going to backfire on this person so, 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 so bad. Okay. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius. Give me some advice for Cancers. Who are all these people falling out? Uranus, okay, so some of y'all this could have to do with breaking cycles, all right. I'm also hearing something about giving away your power or settling or, or, or sacrificing your power and your and your purpose for love that it's motherfucking not reciprocal, okay. But again, something coming very fast, very unexpectedly, doing something in a very unconventional way, and it actually working for you, okay. Give me one more angel call for cancer, Claire Sentience, Archangel Ragael. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Cancer, some of y'all already know you ain't supposed to be in a particular environment, in a particular motherfucking setting. And I feel like some of y'all is like really kind of being stagnant as it pertains to like moving forward. Some of y'all is very motherfucking comfortable being uncomfortable on some shit. Yes. Compassion. Archangel Zachael, soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Seeing things from a bigger fucking spectrum from a higher purpose and getting it's like it's like obtaining the lesson in order to really receive your motherfucking blessing all right mercury this is around communication speaking up for your motherfucking peace sake literally protect your peace cancer archangel shamwell peace comes from remembering that only love is real but you can't bring love and happiness into another person's life or expect those people to bring that into your life until you become one with that vibration yourself you can't ask for some shit you can't give, in other words. Likewise, life review, weigh that shit up. How's things been going? 
what has been the motherfucking constant motherfucking what has been the constant what what has been the constant outcome of things what part in that have you played cancer what part of that did you allow hmm hmm it's all right baby we fall down but the the, the the key is we don't stay there we get the fuck back up and we keep fighting for it. we we keep fighting and striding towards another day and the only motherfucker that's competition to you is a motherfucking is yourself being better than who the fuck you was last week, last year, last month. Okay? Don't ever compare yourself to another person. Because I'm literally hearing comparison is the thief of joy. Yes, they, they got that going on. They, they, they're intuitive. They're this, they're that. But comparing yourself to another person is only, again, stealing from your own goddamn experience. You can't grow that way. It's time to realign with your, with your fucking divinity. And really, 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 really master the art of emotional intelligence. Everybody don't motherfucking deserve that motherfucking love and that energy in which you're giving them. And they continuously show you that until you pull the fucking plug. You are the tower of cancer. Okay? All right, now. I pray y'all had a merry crema. And I love y'all, love y'all, love y'all a long time. I send everybody so much love, healing, peace, grace, prosperity, as we fucking move and stride on into this motherfucking 2022, y'all. 2022 smell like motherfucking new money, motherfucking new dick, motherfucking new opportunities, and a whole bunch of motherfucking spiritual growth. I love y'all. Till next time. Bye, boo.